If Roundup wasn't available tomorrow, if it was banned or just not here, what would happen to farming in Australia? Oh, if Roundup wasn't available tomorrow, we'd be absolutely stuck. It would be, it would be, um, it would be a disaster. A crisis. It would be a crisis for for people doing no-till farming, which is what uh, over most of our cropping regions now in Australia we do, because it's so much better for the environment. Um, now, what? Who knows what might happen in the future? But if it was banned tomorrow, uh, we'd have to use the alternative. We, the alternative that we would have to use is A, uh, way more difficult to use, uh, way higher in terms of toxicity, um, and also way more expensive. So, so you're saying if you had to use something else, it would be an even stronger chemical? Absolutely. So there's at least three studies that do link Roundup to cancer. Does that worry you? Um, well, I'd, I'd like to see the details of those three studies. I'm aware that IARC, the body from the World Health Organisation that you're talking about, has made recommendations that have placed Roundup or glyphosate um, in the same category as a number of other probably carcinogenic things, such as chocolate, caffeine, being a hairdresser, working at night, shift work, all of those different things. So certainly the studies that I've seen so far and the studies that I'm aware of have shown no link, which uh, accords with the decisions of regulators right around the world that finds this product safe to use according to the instructions on the label. What about the safety of your members, Fiona, the farmers? Are you worried about that at all? Safety is critical, not just for our, our, our farmers and their families. I mean, I come, you know, I'm a farmer. Uh, I have a family that uses, you know, chemicals and compounds all the time. So I want to make sure that, that not only my farmers and my workers and my families are safe, but also it's about consumers as well. So we're really always interested in the latest science and the latest innovations. We want to use these products very safely, um, and we do. As a farmer, we have to be accredited to use Roundup or any other chemical and to use it in a way so that it's safe for the person that's using it and the person that eats the product at the end of the day. And that's what we, we rely on the regulators for. The manufacturer says that to use this stuff, you should be wearing a respirator. Yeah. Uh, it's heavy duty safety gear. Yeah. You think most farmers do that? Well, I know farmers have in their sheds, you know, a whole range of PPE, uh, what we call PPE, personal protective equipment, and I, I think it's up to them to determine what they use at each appropriate time. The Australian regulator has never done a test, a scientific study on Roundup. Does that fill you with confidence? Well, I think they use, much as they use for every other thing that they study, um, they, there's, so, there's such a wealth of knowledge around the world. There's, Roundup is one of the most studied chemicals um, and compounds that we use. Over the last 40 years, there's been some enormous studies that have been done, very independent, that have so far found no link to any problem. We rely on them to do whatever is necessary to assure not just the farming community, but the, the Australian community, that we use that product, what the products that we're using are safe. Hello, I'm Liam Bartlett. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.